Hi folks, and you're welcome here to the tourist office in Ballina. I'm Jerry Luskin, the president of the chamber. So we're going to launch something today. And today's big launch is we're going to make Ballina the greenest town in Ireland. So I guess this really all stemmed from the last big event we had here in Ballina was before COVID back in March at the fifth international human rights event uh, hosted by Mary Robinson and um, it really stemmed from that. We took the lead from her with her involvement in human rights and looking at the world in general, how to make it a better place. So here in Ballina we want to try and do that and we're going to do that and today we're launching it to the public that from next week on I suppose we're going to start doing everything environmentally friendly uh, looking at what we can do in the town to make it more green and eventually, at the end of the day, we're going to have the greenest town in Ireland. And I suppose, just on one thing, if we could take a good thing from COVID, and if we could learn from it in the sense that um, we can really make a huge change if we wish, wish to. And if we can take anything from COVID, what we did, we did make lots of changes in the last year. And going forward, this is what we're going to, this is going to be our challenge for Ballina. For, for our kids, our future kids, that they can look back and say, you know, that was a great decision they made back then. And the future of the world, we're starting here in our small town in the west of Ireland, and we're going to take it forward. We're going to bring all the voluntary communities together, uh, councillors, public officials, government. We're, no stone is going to be unturned here to work on this project going forward. And I'd like to welcome Susan here to give you a chat about this beautiful centre here. Thanks Jerry. I'm Susan Heffern and the project manager with the Mary Robinson Centre and we are really excited to be part of this initiative. Um, if I can quote Mary, one of the things she talks about quite a lot is that we're the last generation who know the impact that we'll have on our world through climate change. Um, we're the first generation who'll know the impact that we have on the world through climate change and we're the last people who'll have a chance to make a meaningful difference. Mm. So for Mary, the centre has always been about creating an environment where people feel they can make a change. And it's not a museum, it's a place where people come and feel inspired. So for us, we're really excited that before the centre has even opened through the human rights lectures, we've had that impact in Ballina and people feel inspired and ready to go out and make a difference. We're very, very happy to row behind this initiative and to be part of it at every single step. And we're open to anybody in the community anybody in the business world who wants to come to us and start a project or collaborate with us on something, please come to us. We're delighted to be part of it and we're very proud of Ballina to take this step. That's great, Susan. Thanks very much. So really, that's all we have to say. It's uh, onwards and upwards looking forward to this. It's a huge challenge, but uh, we've never stepped back before from it. And just before I go, I'd just like to wish all the people a happy Christmas and a prosperous new year. And hopefully in the future, 2021 is going to be a better year for us. Thanks a million. Bye. Bye-bye.